2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. We're here at the East Coast Classic and our coverage is about to start. Delighted to have your company for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey with my mate Rich Beam in the booth and Beamer. This player really hasn't been getting it going in this tournament, finds himself trailing the lead. What are your expectations of them today? Well, certainly they're stuck in second gear out there, aren't they? They just make a birdie or two and then they give it back with a bogey. So they need to quit making mistakes. They need to go ahead and start putting this thing in third and fourth gear and start cruising down the highway a little bit quicker because right now they're trailing and they can't afford to give any more uh, back. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. to say just some of the best rhythm in the game. From about 100 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. That's nah, a little wayward. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Time now for the fourth shot. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. He's in a share of 12th place. Yeah, but if you look how they played the hole, it was disastrous. Lucky to walk away with a bogey. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Uh-oh, shank that one. That's going to find the water, sadly. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, great swing there. And here we are with their fourth. <laughs> That's it. It's okay. This is their fifth shot. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Yep, yeah, you'll take that. And that's going to put him up to even par. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. Well, that was over clubbed. That's not the outcome they were after. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. went down John if you got a read on this one this looks like around 35 feet to the hole Ouch, that hurts. Bogey putt coming up here. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Currently at plus one for the tournament.
unfortunately backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Teeing off here at the fourth. Good looking shot, this. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Going with the pitching wedge here. Ah, right into the water on that one. Playing their fourth shot. Thirteen feet to the hole. Ooh. Well, that's disappointing. This putts for double. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Sitting at three over for the event. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. They made bogey on this hole yesterday, and right now they are staring at the same number right square between the eyes. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, they ended up in the deep stuff, but uh, the lie could have been a lot worse. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Looking better. Well done. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Remember, putting's a finesse game. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. And there it is. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. I love a good two-shotter. Birdies on par fours feel great because you've had to execute all three shots. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this line? Yeah, they are deep down into this bunker. Uh, should be interesting to see how they escape this one. Getting ready to play their third.
This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Certainly makes putting easy if you can chip it that close. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Sitting at four over for the event. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Greens and regulation today has been absolutely abysmal, and that is reflective on their scorecard. Okay, safely on the surface, a chance for the putt to be hold here. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Or well, lovely roll. And that's a couple of bogeys on the bounce, I'm afraid. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can't rebound from that. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Looking to bounce back after that bogey, and they've got a great opportunity here. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Butting for birdie. This one's looking good. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. OK, Rich, we're through nine holes here today, and it's cut day. What do you think's going through this player's mind? Luke, they're just above the cut line at the moment. i got to say, what a pressure situation they are in. They cannot afford any mistakes whatsoever. Beautiful swing there. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? A well, pretty shallow lie here in the sand. I don't think it'll be too hard getting out of here. Oh, what a wonderful bunker shot. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Well played, mate. Sitting at three over par. The interesting choice of the driver here. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? This putt coming up is for birdie. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today.
Hey, that's a chance. And that's for Birdie. Well hold. Currently at two over par. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That reminded me of the big easy. Silky smooth. Second shot here on the 12th. Well, that's a handy shot. Six feet remaining to the cup. Ah, that's frustrating. An opportunity to make their par. Well hold. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. We have a par three on this one. Opting for the five iron. That hazard was just staring at you the whole time. So hard not to hit it in there. Getting ready to play their third. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's just inside the range. On to the green now. This for the bogey. Looking at double bogey right between the eyes. Oh, just missed. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. And putt is underway. And down she goes. Currently at four over for the tournament. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. That's heading for the fairway. This shot from about 190 yards out. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Looks like they've got the five wood. Yeah, that one's looking good. Yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Lining up the birdie putt here. It's got a chance. That was a gallant attempt. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And down it goes. And now at plus four for the event. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Time for the second shot at the 15. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Woo, back there, horsey. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. And here we are with the third shot. And he needs this to save par. Get excited. This could go in. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 16th.
That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Well, this player is certainly uh, finding this spot a couple of times this week. Yes, and let's hope it's not a similar result as yesterday. Going with a three wood here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Wow, that's misjudged. Just three feet to the cup. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Here we are in front of a par three. Well, let's see if they can roll off that birdie at the last. Lovely momentum here. Choosing the nine iron here. And this one might need to get down a little. This would be a great up and down. Putting for par. Good looking putt. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. Well, it's come down to this the final hole. Welcome to the 18. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. That should find the cut stuff. Around 110 yards to go. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. You liked that, didn't you? This one's for birdie. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. Well, Rich, after a sloppy start, they seem to pull that round together. Well, that's what they had to do after that opening nine. It, was, <laughs> it wasn't going to be pretty if they had the back nine to match the front nine. Thankfully, they turn it around, got it back on the back nine. Hopefully, a better day ahead. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.